Hi, it's Bruce Cook, and I'm reviewing a, uh, a pepper that I discovered was still growing on one of my plants that I uh, thought was completely dead outside. Went out there to trash uh, some of the rest of my plants. It was about a couple weeks ago, and uh, you know, sure enough, all the leaves were gone off of this, but I found a pepper hanging on this plant. It was on a platform with other plants that um, I got seeds from uh, from somebody on eBay who alleged this they were uh, Trinidad Maruga scorpion peppers and. For those of you that know what a Trinidad Maruga scorpion looks like, they generally uh, ripen into a red color, and uh, they have tails. Well, this was the pepper that was on the plant, and it is definitely not red. Um, it is pimply, but it's not red. It doesn't have a tail on it. Uh, I can't expect them all to have tails. I mean, even some Carolina Reapers will end up not having tails on them. But um, I brought this inside and decided to try to revive this plant and uh, the le uh, new leaves have been coming in pretty good. So I'm just going to try this uh, pepper out and give you my impressions. Um, we'll find out if this is a super hot or not. I'm not familiar with any mild peppers that look like this anyways. Habaneros don't, they have smooth skin. This is really, really pimply. Um, that's what you find on most super hot. So I'm going to clip this pepper off. I'm still going to keep the plant, uh, keep it growing inside. Uh, and if the uh, pepper is worth it, we're going to find out afterwards. So I'm going to cut this pepper in half, make sure there ain't no black moldy seeds in there. So I don't want to get sick or gag. Alright. Boy, I tell you, it does have like a habanero smell to it. That smell is like identical to a habanero. I don't, but it's got a huge placenta in there. This is a relatively smaller pepper anyways, but you see, uh, I don't know, can you see the, uh, the pimply surface? Yeah, see, that's not something you find on a habanero. But this smells exactly like a habanero. So, but we're going to find out. We're just going to try this real quick and uh, we'll see what happens. And it lost some of its crunchiness. That tastes just like a habanero, and I'm not getting any heat yet. I'm getting I'm getting the spice taste of a habanero. So, I'm gonna give it a minute and see if there if there's any heat that's gonna rise. I'm not even close to one out of ten. It's like what a habanero feels to me. We'll see if uh, see if it rises. I'll give it like 30 seconds. If it doesn't rise at all, then I know it's not a super hot. And that uh, one of those uh, batches of seeds that I got, I uh, got ripped off on again. No, actually, the heat is climbing on this one. No, that's that's actually starting to climb uh, fast enough that it's that's that's not a habanero. That's well past the habanero. This took a took a 30 seconds or so to kick in. It's only like a one out of, maybe just over like a one out of ten. It, it's at least twice as hot as a habanero right now. Um, I'm seeing if it uh, if it'll go up any higher. I'm trying to breathe in and out because that's that way uh, it'll get the the heat climbing in my mouth if it's gonna climb once you start breathing in and out after chewing and swallowing it. It's not it's. Might, I might say it's a 2 out of 10. I, I, I can say that's not a habanero. I've never had Trinidad Maruga scorpion pepper, at least not the pepper itself. I've had uh, sauce before, Thor's Hammer um, hot sauce from uh, Volcanic Peppers, and that had Trinidad Maruga scorpions in it, but I don't know what they taste like by themselves. I don't know what the heat level is supposed to be by themselves. I know it's it was in the Guinness Book of World Records as the first place hottest pepper in the world until the reaper dethroned it in 2013 but I would have expected it to be hotter than this um, the, the chocolate murga scorpion it was uh, much hotter than this at least the throat burn was and I still have uh, I'm going to point at this box I still have my chocolate murga scorpion peppers growing they're doing pretty good I've actually had a few more peppers uh, sprout out on this thing let's get it in the light I don't know if you can see this. Mm -mm. Um, so and we got some big ones. Once uh, once these get um, ripened, 
I'm going to review one of these again. Since the first time I ever uh, uh, reviewed one of these, it was a real small one. And I have tried a big one after it was uh, perfectly ripened into a chocolate brown color. And it was way hotter than that tiny one that I tried. But, yeah, alright. I'd say the heat, the heat now is peak. It's a 2 out of 10. It was definitely not a habanero. Uh, my, my tongue, I got some heat under my tongue. My throat is burning. So that's, uh, that's a good sign. And I can feel uh, snot. Wanting to uh, drip out of my nose right now, so that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, it's really like you're about to cry. Yeah, that's a good thing, though. <laughs> I want these peppers to make me cry. But it ain't getting any hotter, but I thought I'd just review it, just in case that was uh, the only pepper I ever get out of that plant. But hopefully it'll put out some more peppers. Um, it needs to put out another round of flowers first. But um, Alright, that'll be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you all have a Merry Christmas, and I'll catch you next time.